In this video, we're going to identify if a function is linear, exponential, or quadratic by looking at its equation. So, we can tell if an equation is linear, exponential, or quadratic by looking at its equation pretty quickly. Um, so, a couple of things that you're going to notice. First, if you have a quadratic, when we studied quadratic, we talked about how quadratics are what is called degree 2. They are decree 2 polynomials, which means that their highest exponent with a variable is 2. It's exactly 2. The highest exponent value for a variable is exactly 2. So if we start to look at these three examples, what we notice is that the only equation with a variable value with the highest exponent of exactly 2 is this third one right here. So when we're trying to identify a quadratic function, we're looking for something like x squared in there. And x squared is the highest power. So that's what we'll be looking for when we're looking for a quadratic function. Now when we look at exponential, remember that exponential has that word exponent in it. And so what's happening in exponential is we're going to see an x in the exponent. Hence the name. So when we're looking at an equation, if we notice that x is up there in the exponent, we're going to have an exponential equation or an exponential function. And then finally, when we have a linear graph, we will see them in y equals mx plus b form, but what you need to notice here is that there are no exponents. There's none. There's no exponents here. Everything has an exponent of 1. There's no exponents. There's no roots in there. There's no fractions with x in the denominator. There's none of that. It's just pretty much the most simplest equation that you'll see. You'll see y and x, and then you'll see some numbers just as coefficients. And that's it. That's what we notice here. So they're pretty easy to distinguish between if you know those identifying key characteristics. So when you have a quadratic, you're going to have this x squared up here, and it's going to be the highest power for a variable. When you have an exponential, you're going to have x up here in the exponent, and when you have a linear graph, you're just going to have x's, y's, and their coefficient values. So for each equation below, we're going to decide which type of function we have and then explain our choice. So here if we look at example 1, what I notice is that I have x up here in the exponent. And what that's telling me, because x is in the exponent, is that I have an exponential function. Then if I look over at example 2, what I notice here is that all I have are x's, y's, and then some coefficients and numbers. There's no x in the exponent, there's no exponents at all, and as a result, this is a linear function. Then if I look at the third example, what I notice here is that I have a 2 up here in the variable exponent. So I have a highest variable exponent of 2. And that highest variable exponent of 2 tells me that I have a quadratic equation. Then if I look at the next one, I notice that while I have some numbers and some operations going on, what I also notice is that I have an x in the exponent. And because I have an x in the exponent, I know that I have an exponential graph. Then for number 5, I notice here that I have some numbers, y's, and x's, but I have no exponents at all, no roots, no things going on weird in the denominator. So as a result, I have a linear function here. And then finally, in this last problem, I see that I have a highest variable exponent of 2. That highest variable exponent of 2 tells me that I have a quadratic function.